Talking the Summoned. This one is directed by Mark Mia. It focuses on a character called Elijah, who is just your kind of average guy, uh, who he happens to be dating a kind of somewhat kind of famous uh, singer-songwriter. And uh, they have gone arranged to go to this kind of like couples retreat, which is kind of a very exclusive uh, kind of out of the way therapy clinic where there is this uh, kind of eccentric kind of doctor there who is going to help them, you know, with their lives going forward. And there are a couple of other people there. There is kind of this uh, this film star um, who is also, I think, like a social influencer and a guy who uh, I believe like wrote a book or something. So they're all kind of famous people, apart from our kind of central character, Elijah, who is just dating the kind of the famous person, so to speak. And it's a very kind of like exclusive kind of like remote area. And Elijah is feeling a little bit kind of at odds with himself. Um, so we learn as the movie goes on without kind of really spoiling anything. This kind of uh, this retreat, this kind of secluded area, which seems to house the kind of the rich and famous, has a kind of a dark secret which kind of reveal itself through the movie. Suffice to say, there may well be supernatural elements at work. It reminded me a lot of the movie The Devil's Advocate in some respects, but a lower budget movie without really the kind of the visuals and the kind of the special effects that that kind of movie uh, kind of had to offer. So what do we think of um, The Summoned? So on the positive side, I, I will say this movie is an example of, uh, you know, having a kind of a movie on a low budget without kind of having to rely on kind of effects. You can still have a kind of a, a horror movie, one that has deals with the supernatural and things like that. But if you can't afford to do, you know, you know, high budget effects or kind of lots of kind of like uh, makeup or CGI, you write around it. You write around the kind of the, uh, the, the, the fact that you are, it clearly is a low budget movie by not including those things in, in the kind of the script. Instead you have, you, you focus on characters and things like that. And that's what this movie wisely does. Now, we'll come on to it again. Some might be disappointed that this movie doesn't have particularly much of a visual kind of style. But nonetheless, I think what the movie does do it gives us a good indication of what these kind of characters are like. I mean, outside of Elijah, everyone does seem pretty kind of eccentric. Um, but I think the movie, it, you know, it, it kind of defies its budget because everything else is kind of quite well shot, I have to say. Um, you know, it's it, it, it doesn't look like a cheap film, even though it's clearly saving money on not having kind of any kind of type of real kind of visual spectacle. But the way the movie is filmed, lit, the location shooting, things like that. And I always said the acting as well is all pretty good, uh, giving you the impression you're watching something which maybe, you know, is kind of trying to save money, but it's doing it in a way that you're not necessarily uh, really seeing the look of the low budget kind of on screen, which is obviously good. And we do get, you know, a good sense of who these kind of people are. And I think the acting is, Pretty good, especially from our kind of our central character Elijah. I do think, I mean, the, the the other characters are playing up a little bit their kind of um, weirdness, their kind of eccentric kind of behaviour, to a point where it comes a little bit kind of, you know, obvious at times, should we say? But I think that's the way these characters are written. Uh, well, I think the performances are actually, you know, uh, you know, fine. And then when he does go into some type of, uh, uh, without again, without spoiling anything, a classic kind of like horror kind of situation it's the best way i would describe it it's fairly obvious where it's going if i'm completely honest um i don't think it's any real surprises about when things are kind of revealed but nonetheless i think when we get there and we kind of get to our third act our third act does pick up the pace and we do get a little bit of kind of like uh you know a bit of blood on the screen and things like that and the kind of the tension does kind of uh, ramp up to make a certainly a, a, the strongest out of the acts being a third, so it does kind of leave us on a on a good footing, kind of so to speak. And despite I think this movie being, you know, somewhat kind of a lot of what you've seen before, it still is a pretty uh, you know entertaining story that I think is you know easy to follow with you know with some relatively obvious twists. But I don't think it's necessarily always always such a kind of a bad thing uh, with characters that are well defined and kind of well acted. So it's all you know it's all pretty good to be honest. 
but it doesn't work. As I've kind of alluded to, there's really not much visual flair here. I mean, um, the, the idea being is that, our, again, without kind of spoiler thing, our character of Elijah, who is our point of, sort of point of view character, doesn't really know what is going on. And if we had these kind of more overt things happen on the screen, you know, the jig might be up. So it's it, it's kind of done in the fact that it's more kind of terrestrial what the actual kind of situation is, despite being there, there is definitely a supernatural um, element at play here. Uh, but it ultimately isn't particularly kind of visually stimulating. It is just kind of people in kind of conversations. And even when we get to that third act uh, and where things are revealed and we learn what the kind of this threat might well be, they, they could have been a little bit more grisly. Uh, let me just put it like I think it kind of just is a little bit neutered. Uh, I didn't think it quite needed to kind of like uh, have like deaths off screen as much as it kind of did. And again, maybe it was a budgetary issue. I'm assuming that's probably what it would be. But story wise, I think when that, when things are revealed, you may as well kind of like lean into it and kind of uh, really go for that kind of shock factor, which I felt was a, a little bit of a missed opportunity there. Um, and again, as, as I've alluded to, our, our characters um, outside of Elijah. So I think act in a way which would raise suspicion in the real world. Let me just put it like that. In the context of the film, they're, they're kind of, it, it, there's a story element why they're doing it. But to me, it was like, mm, these people are acting, you know, very, very overtly weird. And if you were there, if you were in the Elijah situation, I feel you would question it more. As such, there's some very kind of obvious and, and uh, things that happen in the movie. And there's some conveniences that happen again, some of which are our are, are story um, is kind of trying to kind of seed. Uh, again, I can't spoil anything for you, but our character of Elijah kind of finds out things that some I think is just a little bit too convenient, you know, sometimes in a script manner. And sometimes, again, if you're thinking about what the character, why would a certain person leave, uh, for example, their phone? lying around when it's clearly there's incriminating stuff on there they clearly kind of make a big deal about going oh i've got all this stuff on my phone and then they kind of leave it thinking they clearly wanted me to kind of to find it and things like this so there are some kind of obvious bits there and, and as i said the movie isn't particularly kind of original when things are revealed i don't think it's any real kind of surprise there um being completely kind of honest um, and, you know, it's, it's maybe a little bit too slow at times. That's why I think that the first two acts, <clears throat> although I, I was kind of entertained with the movie, uh, it, it doesn't really kind of get going until the kind of the third act. And I think maybe it, it spins its wheels just a little bit in those kind of first two acts. Uh, maybe it needed more characters. I felt maybe um, we have a really only kind of four real kind of characters in the movie and maybe it could have done with like another couple or something it just seems a little bit too little there uh, again but it's it's okay i think it's it's, a, it's a certainly a well-made movie for the movie that it is trying to be you know it's obviously it doesn't have a huge budget it's obviously trying to just be more a character piece and it does succeed in that at least i think um it's not flashy it's not particularly kind of like uh really memorable or anything like that but it is well acted and well made. So I do have to say, I give, the, I give this movie in an above average mark. I'll be, I don't think it's a particularly kind of um, movie that's gonna be anyone's top 10 list come the end of the year. At least that's my opinion. So for me, it's a six out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.